And Torpedo Alley is a lot like the air-sea battle on the Atari 2600. Not as good as we're about to see, but at least they tried. Go to number game. Go to game two, which is Torpedo Alley. Here we go. And again, it's uh, it's like air sea battle where you're gonna shoot. So it's a single player mode if you want to go against the time limit. So I'm gonna give myself just five minutes. That's way too much time. Believe me, to get to 99 in five minutes is simple. So let's just set a two minute time limit and let's go speed wise. Mode 4 is fastest, and then uh, start. So I'm going to go top speed for 2 minutes and see if you can get to 99. Just going for the top boat because that's 5 points. If you hit the lower boat, it's only 1 point. It's not really worth shooting. It takes too much ammunition. It's... um. Usually the lower boat's getting away, actually, if you're just shooting for the top boat. As you've just seen me do two in a row like that. As you can see, this game doesn't have a lot of variety. You got the three levels there. It just intercepted my shot. See, that's what I'm talking about there again. Almost there. There we go. So it took me 33 seconds to get to 99 on the fastest mode. So... There's a goal you can shoot for, but that's really it. I guess two-player mode would be a little more fun. You could go against somebody else, see we could get to, you know, speed the fastest. I didn't even show you that you can move your gun around. Let's let me go just a tad slower, and uh, here we go. Let's do let's do mode two, and then um, this way I'll show you a little more of the game itself. So you can actually rotate your cannon left and right, so you can shoot at an angle. I Again, the score five at the top, three in the middle, one at the bottom. So you can just blast away at the the little the little one down here, but your score won't go up fast at all. And I find the angle shot not as easy to plan in time. Oops, didn't mean to restart. Wrong button. See, so you can shoot either side. If I shoot over here, that's really not a good angle. <laughs> you can't really tell what's going on. You're supposed to maybe have strategy like if it's coming and it's already past you you quickly switch sides and shoot but it takes longer to switch than to just than to just line up and shoot over and over again so again I found that just sitting straight up and down and and shooting for that back back boat was by far the easiest method of scoring quickly and scoring the highest score possible in the shortest amount of time and the only other thing really on the playing field are the red the red pluses crosses in the middle which as you've guessed are simply uh, mines or something that obstruct your shot Let's see anyway this was not a game I was intending to uh, win this was just simply messing around uh, as you can see I like the faster speed a little more fluid you have to get into a rhythm to shoot that the boat at the back if you're really going to beat the game quickly and this guy keeps getting in the way for one stinking point so it's not worth that anyway air sea battle on the atari 2600 so much better but there you go i just showed you what happens when you lose which is nothing it just stops when the time's up so anyway that's pretty much it robot war and torpedo alley good decent cartridge for the channel if they put two games on there that are both playable and somewhat fun so i appreciated that i think that was a good cartridge